Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily, and today I have some fun winter thrift flips for you. It is part of a collaboration with Elizabeth from Southern G. Moore Gals, and I will explain more about that later. But if you have not had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I would love if you would consider doing so. And if you do like what you see in this video, I would really like it if you would give this video a thumbs up. But let's get started with some thrift flips. So I found this cute little metal bucket or planter at my thrift store. It had a regular price of $20 on it, but it had been marked down to $2. And then this cute little snowman that says the word snow beneath him. I'm not going to use any of the letters for this project. I'll hang on to them for another project, but I'm going to use that darling little snowman for sure. So I'm just taking some white paint in a chip brush and I am just going to dry brush all over this little pot I fill and it's metal. So I'm not really sure if it's like a pot or a basket container let's call it a container. So I'm just going to brush all over this and that detail and design is just going to pop because it will stay that darker color. And I really love how this looks and I really feel like this is something I could use all year long, not necessarily just for winter. How you dress it up with what floral arrangement you put in it is going to determine what season it will be best for. So now to get our snowman all ready. So I am just going to take him off from these cute little letters and we're just going to kind of give him a little bit of a new wardrobe. So I just cut my wires there with some wire cutters to get him off of there. And I want to remove, this is a metal, scarf that's on him and I don't particularly love that I mean I could just leave it like that but I kind of wanted to dress that up a little bit so I do try with my wire cutters to cut it and then realize this is the flimsiest little piece of tin so I can easily cut it with my scissors so that's what I do and then I just use some needle nose pliers to get it out because it was stuck in there with like a little staple or something and so now we kind of have a little naked snowman but I'm going to cut the hanging tag off of him because we are not going to need to hang him anymore and after I take that off I just use my sander to make sure that any sharp edges that would be left from the metal are completely gone. So I just take some buffalo check ribbon that I had and I am going to tie that onto him for his scarf. That matches my decor. This is where you could totally customize it to be whatever you would like. And I just tie it in a knot and then I am going to dovetail the ends of each side of the scarf. And I mean, I know a scarf's not necessarily dovetailed, but I really just thought that gave a good finished look to it. So you could definitely cut it at an angle or however you would like. I just thought that looked so cute and he just looks so wintry. So I'm just taking some floral pick that I have. I have uh, this one came from Hobby Lobby and I have a few others from Dollar Tree that I am just going to tuck in here. I have this package of these evergreen little picks or strands that I got here from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking a bunch of them, folding them in half and tucking them in to make it look a little bit fuller. And then I'm taking my snowman and just a wooden dowel and I slide it up through the scarf so if I ever decide I want to change it, I don't have to deal with glue on the scarf. And I am just going to put some hot glue to glue that in and then just tuck him inside. I think this just turned out so cute and it is so wintry. I absolutely love this little snowman and I think it looks so cute in this little arrangement. Again, I would like to thank you so much for joining me today, and I would also love to introduce you to Elizabeth from Southern G. Moore Gals, and if you already know her, you know how wonderful she is, but if this is your first time being introduced to her, I will put a link to her channel down in my description box. Elizabeth does some of the most amazing thrift flips. You are absolutely going to love them. She also has a video today with some winter thrift flip ideas for you. So the link to that video will also be down in the description box. Here's just a look at some of the thrift flips that she has done. She is so talented, you guys. I know you're going to love her. When you do go over and watch her video, make sure you give her a thumbs up, subscribe while you're there, and let her know that Emily from Farm Charm Chic sent you. Again, all the links to her video and her channel will be down in my description box, so don't forget to check that. I found these three nesting Christmas trees at my thrift store. It was $3 for the set. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute the way they are, but I thought I would kind of spruce them up a little bit to match my decor. 
I wanted to brighten them up with some white paint and so I was just going to dry brush this on and kind of see how it looked and that first little area I got very heavy with the paint and was like oh whoops I guess that spot's gonna go in the back but I'll show you how I fix it here in just a second but this is just like grapevine that's wrapped around this along with some burlap mesh so the mesh does absorb the paint really well and so I just kind of had to be careful that I was not using a whole ton of paint so I just take a little baby wipe and dab it into that mesh and it picks up a lot of that paint so it really ended up just kind of blending in so I'm happy that I was able to fix that so a little bit of a tip for you there but I just go through over all of these trees and I cover them with white paint I had originally wanted to spray paint these however it it was way too cold at my house to spray paint them and I honestly think that might have been a little bit too heavy for what I want I might not have gotten the same effect so I'm actually really happy but I just take all three of these and just go around all of them with this white paint dry brushing it on completely this is one of those projects that you could easily customize with any type of ribbon. You could put glitter, anything like that. I really just like the simplicity of the white. I just thought it looked really cute and I thought that this is something that you could jazz up for Christmas time and then kind of have it be more simple for winter time. I hope this just shows you how a little bit of paint can completely transform something and how easy. I think this took me like 20 minutes to do. So very quick and look at how pretty they turned out. Imagine some fairy lights wrapped all around these. Fairy lights you could probably even use through all of winter as well, not just Christmas time. But I think these just are darling. Let me know what you think of these down in the comments. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram also. I love to meet new Insta friends, so I would love for you to come over and say hi, check out my page, and see all the latest projects that I'm working on. I'll be sure and leave a link down in my description box so you can easily find me. I was so surprised and so excited when I found this sled at my local thrift store for just $2. I knew that I just had to have it and there were so many possibilities and I truly love how this turns out. So I am just taking a wipe and making sure that I wipe everything down, making sure that it's completely clean. And then on these flat surface boards here, I am just going to give them a couple coats of white paint. You can use whatever color you would like and whatever type of paint you would like. What we're going to do is a reverse stencil on the top of this with some snowflakes. Now I only did these three boards in the white because those were the only areas that my stencil was going to go. However, once I go to distress this, I had wished that I had done the crossbar in some white paint. I do have a solution for that, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time that I wish I had painted that. That way when I distressed it, that white would peek through. I did use a cutting machine to cut out a couple of snowflakes, but fear not, if you do not have a cutting machine, you can just cut some out snowflakes out of cardstock. You can even use like those jelly window clings that you get at Dollar Tree and place down anything to cover the white area with whatever pattern you would like, and then you'll spray paint over it or paint, uh, and that way it will create the reverse stencil. I do take this outside to my little box spray paint studio, whatever you'd like to call it, and I just give this a really good coat. I just have to go over it once with some matte black spray paint. Now, of course, you can customize this to be whatever colors you would like. I am trying to make this more wintry than Christmassy because I do want to leave this up all the way through February if possible. So I'm just making sure that that area all over where those snowflake stencils are completely gets covered. And then after that first top layer dries, I'm going to lift it up and paint the bottom of it. I wanna make sure that the complete rest of the area on this sleigh is painted black. So you can do this by hand and not have to do spray paint if you would like, that is completely optional. The next step is to bring it inside, let the paint, we'll let it dry before you bring it inside. <laughs> but then we're going to take the stencil off, our little snowflake to reveal our reverse stencil. So just so you know, when you do this, that spray paint holds down whatever you've used there pretty good if it's got an adhesive on the back. So it will take you just a minute to kind of peel that off, but just be delicate and go slow so you're not going to chip or move any, remove any of your paint. 
So after I remove my stencils there, I am just taking an emery board. You can use whatever sandpaper or finger sander that you have or that you like. And I am just going over this to give it a very rustic look. What happens is it takes the little bit of layer of the black paint and it makes that white paint come shine through there. And I love how that looks. And this is where I said I had wished that I had done the crossbar in the paint. So that way the white paint would show through on that. But I do just take a little and by little, I mean the littlest amount of white paint on a chip brush and kind of very lightly dry brush so it does look like it has a little bit of white there as well. And then I very lightly wipe this down with just like a baby wipe because I don't want to smear the black paint over our snowflakes but I do want all the dust removed. Now I just take some rope from Dollar Tree and I unravel it and take one of the strands and get some painter's tape on the end of it and make sure it is as tight and as small as I can get it because I'm going to feed it through that little hole that was provided and then turn it around and flip it through the other side so that creates our little rope tie there. So after deciding how long I want this rope to be, I just flip the slate over and I am just tying a knot in either side. I'm just going to trim that rope down so that way I can easily get a knot tied into the little area there. And then what I'm going to do is any excess rope, just cut that as close to the knot as I can so that way that you're not left with any that's showing. And I'm just using some hot glue to make sure that those knots are not going to fray or come untied. Now to get the kink out of this rope, since it's kind of curly from being wound up in rope, I'm just spraying it with some water and then I hang it from like a door handle for like an hour or something and it really straightens that rope out. So the longer you hang it, the straighter it will be. But look how adorable this turns out. I think this is going to be perfect for all winter long. You can even spruce it up for Christmas and then transition it into winter if you would like. I just absolutely love this. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching these fun winter thrift flips. I would love for you to leave me a message down in the comments and let me know which of these flips was your favorite. Again, I will leave a link to Elizabeth's channel, Southern Gmore Gals, down in my description box as well as a link to her video for today so you can go see her winter thrift flips that she did. As always, I would like to remind you to be safe, be smart, be nice, be happy, choose to have a good day because you are amazing. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you next time. Happy holidays. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, here's another one that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.